up you guys, putting a trailer hitch on your Ford Escape here can take you to some really fun places like camping and bike riding. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and break this hitch down and get you outdoors. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, so our hitch is designed to mount to the outside of the frame. Right now we're looking at the driver's side frame. Um, our first most forward attachment point is going to be here in this pre-drilled hole. And our second is going to be at this hole here towards the rear of the vehicle. We're going to access those by going through this access hole here. We may have to notch it out just a little bit so that our hardware can fit through this access hole. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, and now we're over at the passenger side. It's going to be identical to the driver's side. We've got a hitch attachment point here at the rear of the vehicle, hitch attachment point at the most forward point of the vehicle here, and then our access hole here. And you can see the, the hitch, we will not have to drop the exhaust with this hitch. It does not get in the way. So. Okay, so we're ready to put our hitch into place. Um, you can see that I'm using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands. The hitch is pretty heavy. So we'll go ahead and slide it into place here. There's one area on the passenger side that I do want to point out. Okay, so you can see this is our hitch bracket here, and this is our fuel line here for filling your gas tank. The hitch is designed to go up and over it. We do want to angle up and into the side of the frame there. Just like that. Okay, so the hitch went up a little bit tight, may have been bent a, a little bit in shipping, um, but that's okay, not a big deal. Um, to get our two holes to line up uh, properly, I'm gonna take a lineup tool. I'm just gonna put it in a hole and wall it around a little bit to the two holes match. Okay, perfect. Okay, so to make a small notch in our access hole, I'm gonna be using an air saw. And if you don't have an air saw, a simple uh, file or grinder can, can just take a, a little bit of that metal off. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, you can see we just took a little piece of this metal off here around the access hole and that'll give us enough room to fit the hardware through. Go ahead and show you that. You can see that it goes, slides right through that now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the passenger side. Okay, so now we're going to take the fish wire and we're going to put it through the attachment hole and then work our way over to the access hole. We'll just reach our finger up there and try to feel for it and pull it down. Okay, there it is. Okay, and now that we have that through our access hole, we can take our carriage bolt and carriage plate, put the two together, and then screw it on the end of the bolt lead here. We can take our carriage plate and push it up into the frame now. And then our carriage bolt up into the frame. Okay, now we're ready to pull on this side here and it should come right through the access hole. Okay, and there it is. We'll go ahead and leave our fish wire on there for now until we get all the bolts through. We'll do that same exact process on the remaining three bolts.
Okay, we'll do the exact same thing on the passenger side on the remaining two bolts. The passenger side, and you can see the space is a little bit tight because of the gas filler tube here, but just take your time and be patient. You'll, you'll be able to work it in there. Sometimes it makes it a little easier if you just flip the bolts around and push that head through first, just like that. Okay, now we can go ahead and pull on the bolt through here. You may have to wiggle it around a little bit so that we can get the uh, carriage plate and carriage bolt set in the frame and then come through the hitch there just like that. Fish wire here through our hitch attachment point. Put it through the hitch first and then go to our access hole here and reach our finger in there and just kind of guide the bolt lead through. Okay, now we have our bolts through the frame and into our hitch holes here. Now we can go ahead and take our fish wire and bolt leads off and put our conical tooth washer and nut on. We'll do, this is our conical tooth washer here. You want the teeth of it contacting the hitch. So we'll put that on first. Careful not to push the hardware into the frame. I'll just put some pressure on that washer there so as I'm putting the nut up there, it doesn't fall through. Okay, got it. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the remaining three bolts. You can see that the one that's right above the filler tube here is a pretty difficult to get the nut on and it, but if you just take your time and be patient with it you'll be able to get your fingers in there and get it twisted on okay we'll move over to the driver's side and do the same thing okay take the bolt lead off put our washer on And then carefully put the nut on so we don't push the hardware into the frame. I'm just putting a lot of pressure on the bolt, pushing it to the side so it'll stay in place as I spin the nut on. There we go. Okay, last one here. Our bolt lead off. You can either un unscrew these or just pull them off. And I'm just gonna put some pressure to the side so the bolt doesn't move on me. Put that nut on. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to torque them down. Okay, so we're ready to torque the bolts down. Um, I've got our torque wrench here. Uh, we've got it set at 50 foot-pounds. I'm gonna be using a short 11 16 socket for the driver's side. Um, the most forward bolt is pretty close to the fender wall here, but it, it moves out of the way pretty easily, so we'll just bend it out of the way. Get our socket over the nut here. Now we'll just torque it down until we hear a click. That'll let us know we're at our proper torque. Just 
just like that. And now we'll go ahead and get the most rear bolts here. Just like that. Okay, we'll move over to the passenger side. We'll start with the most rear bolt because it looks like the one next to the filler tube is gonna be a little bit tricky. So we'll get this one done first. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got my torque wrench set in there um, with a long socket, it's 11 sixteenths. Um, and I'm just trying to wedge it over the bolt there so I can torque it down. Looks like I can't get it completely on, but I can get it enough to bite to get a proper torque. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that'll do it for our hitch for the Ford Escape. Um, you can see we have a two inch receiver, very large safety chain loops, and the cross tube is a nice round tube, stylish design sits right underneath the bumper and the two exhaust outlets. Okay, and that'll be it for our video. Thanks for watching. Have fun and be safe. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.